last time I, last turn we had, and probably, I think it was March or April. But we'll see how it goes. I'm going to fish a different part of the lake than I've ever fished before, too. So, that's just where I usually fish is up river, and it's been raining a lot. So, it's probably pretty muddy, and it's a long trip, kind of like a gamble to go up there and see what, it, see what it's like. So, anyway, I'm only fishing long points. Uh, starting out, I'll be throwing some top water, and then once it, once it heats up a little bit, I'll start throwing a jig and a shaky head, probably a crankbait. Uh, hopefully, I can pick up five fish. So, I hope y'all can see me during this whole video. I'm not redoing it. So I don't have a, I thought I'd usually have a fishing partner, but he, uh, babysitter, canceled on the last minute. I thought about finding another one, but I'm used to fishing by myself too, so. Alright, see y'all at the end of it. Alright, y'all. I hope, I don't even know if y'all can see right now. I'm starting out on this long point. Throwing a white buzz bait. See if I can catch any face and shad or anything like that. If you can't see, then I guess I'll tell you what I'm doing later. Okay, He'll, he might keep. Oh yeah, he'll keep. Oh, they gotta be 16 inches on this lake. Oh shit, I made a mess too. That's not bad. It's skinny too. This is when I'm not prepared. It's when I actually catch something. Same thing. I know that's 16. I ain't even gonna worry about it. back around I just fished all this with a buzz bait come back around throw it fish with a crankbait and then go back to the point I was it started at which is right up there Thank you. 
Oh yeah, that's a good one. Come on, baby, stay on. Didn't really feel like a good one. Come on, baby. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, you choked it too. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Can't even grab him by the mouth. Come on, come over here. How do people do this? Woo! Ow! That didn't feel good. That's what I needed right there. That's the biggest fish I ever caught on this lake. I've lost some bigger. But it's not bad, is cigarette after that one see he didn't want the buzz bait i came back and along the same bank and through this square bill probably runs about four or five foot deep uh and i'm still at the same same area i think i'm just gonna hang around here till shoot i don't know maybe all day <laughs> if they keep doing this that jig underneath that dot and he came out swam out with it I hooked him for a second bright days like this they like to be in the shade he ain't gonna bite again
Oh, geez, real big. He must have been wrapped around something. Finally, third fish at 11.42. Terrible. Hey, hooks on the kept his mouth closed. Mm -mm. Bigger than other ones, but still. Thank you, Lord. All right, I am back home. Try to get a good angle without me shaking the phone everywhere. Uh, it's actually probably eight o'clock. I've been working on editing this video. Since I got home, it's been several hours. I had issues with my GoPro. It's really starting to piss me off. Uh, it had sound. That's a good thing. But <laughs> every time I try to link it to my phone, it would turn off even though it had 80% battery. So I don't know. I might have to get a new one. And I'm actually going to see if I can find one that has a night vision, a night mode. I do a lot of night fishing during the summer. Uh, but anyways, I want to talk about this trip today, or my tournament today. I ended up in third out of four boats, so that's really not that great. But I do fish against some pretty good guys. One of them is a guide on the lake we were fishing at. And he's the one who won, and he's the, one who won the tournament with 13 pounds and five ounces. Second pound, or second place was a... Uh, a guy who has fished with Kevin Van Dam as a co-angler. Uh, if y'all follow the Bassmaster and M and uh, FL or MLF Major League Fishing, uh, y'all know who that is. And he had nine pounds, eleven ounces, and I had nine pounds six ounces. So that, the only re I only had three fish. First and second place had five and fourth place had three and they went for four pounds and uh, it was four pounds and change. I don't remember what it is, but it was a tough day it, and I'm used to having a partner. So I, <laughs> I it, it would have been nice to have someone else in the boat with me. Definitely after about 10 o'clock of only catching two fish at that point, I caught my third one around 11, 1130. Uh, Let's see, I, in the video, I lost one on the dock. Well, later on in the video, I was fishing that same dock. I went back to it, fishing it with a worm to see if I could get it to bite a different bait. Sometimes that works, sometimes it don't, and it didn't in this case. But, uh, let's see, what else did I write on here? Well, I can't even see it. I had some thoughts I was going to say in this, but I... I was going to write it down, my pen died, so I thought I'd remember it, but I didn't. What's new there? Uh, but yeah, it was, I caught, I caught one more fit, my, my GoPro died. I had a charger for it, and it wouldn't take a charge, I don't know why, but uh, my GoPro died, and I caught one more short fish. And I also caught another short fish earlier on in the day, and for some reason I can't find it on my videos. But it don't really matter. I had to throw it back. So. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was, a, like I said, it was a tough day. And my next few videos, I'll probably be fishing my my buddy's seven acre lake, so I'll catch more fish. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> and then I'll do some in the pond. I know I've been telling y'all I'll do one in the pond, but me feeding them. And I wanted to do it today, but I spent so much time editing this dang video that I had. It's about dark, and I ain't gonna fool with it. So. Anyways, I appreciate y'all for watching. I uh, hope you liked it. Share, subscribe, like it if you like it. If you don't, don't worry about it. I don't really care. But I'll see y'all next time.